I'm tired of this school because I don't understand. Share because I'm not for my back lip. I be I not be indigent or I no family anybody for here. Because what's the meaning of this? After paying one thirty for a share, make I copy another one. Because why would doctor you fail me? For what? After attending classes, oh, I'm alright. Person to fail me. How will one person be the only person to fail me? Out of how many lecturers that doesn't even know my face? For me, I want it today. How will, you, how will you be the only one? I don't have reference to write on anyone, no. Just only first, second semester, I have it to write. Only second semester. Only second semester. Me, I will try. I'm going to leave the certificate for now. I will try. Aye, you guys. Aye. Aye, that woman. This is so pathetic. Like... Seeing that video, I don't know how I feel. Added to the way I've been feeling today, my mood has been so down. Seeing that video just toppled it down. <laughs> Part of the mood. Now, when you go through a lot of things, you understand why people do such things. But it's not the right decision to take. But you understand why. But it has never gotten to the level where you would or you should be able to, you should begin to think of ending your life no matter what no matter what we all went through different things we all went through different shades of issues while we were in school i remember then i used to have this lecturer who was on my neck that i wanted to have an affair with me like you can just imagine i think i was in year three then and so before then, you guys are highly welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here and you haven't subscribed, it's time now for you to subscribe. Please subscribe, like, and share this video, and leave your comments below. So we're talking about the young University of Abakliki. Are we? Yeah, University of Ebony State University student, Ipsu, who actually committed or ended her life as a result of being filled multiple times in one of the courses and the lecturer refused her graduating and that course without passing that course we all know that without passing a course in school you will not be able to graduate and to top it up she has been rewriting the exams she also went on to pay she said that exam was it year two or so that she has been rewriting exams she has paid money over a hundred and thirty thousand naira still wasn't cleared she's been going back and forth she also made a complaint saying is it because she's not from a boy in state or is it because she's not from a back lake is it because she's not an indigent is that why she's being treated this way she cried cried and cried in her voice recording then a few moments later she ended it all and we see her mom bringing her to school to the school authority to the particular lecturer who actually failed her the course Rather, they said Dr. Ying or so who failed her, and the woman said Dr. Ying should take the corpse, Dr. Ying should go and bury it. That she has come to give him the girl, his her daughter, because Dr. Ying said he actually went to University of Lagos, Unilac, and that nobody's as brilliant as he is, and that he spent so much going to school so you cannot just call and be lackadaisical about your situation or your attitude or your character in school and so for that reason she he was he was not going to pass her and then again maybe he asked her for something we all know how this used to play we have all gone for those of you that have gone to university you know particularly in nigeria you know what it feels like or when a lecturer is up to you and you refuse to give him what he's up to you know the what the outcome will be so this particular girl favor suffered that and she couldn't help she couldn't 
maintain. She could not continue to manage the pressure. She had already finished her final year and she was supposed to clear this course so she could go for service. Probably her mates after they going for service, we all know the peer pressure situation we used to experience. Her mates are started going for service or probably they've gone and come back and some are working and then she's being held down for just a particular course. You can imagine the pain she was going through. But it's not supposed to be to the extent of her taking her life. It's not supposed to be. So I'm going to share my story with you because I have been in that situation before. Yeah. But luckily for me, in such a situation, if you have if you find yourself in such situation. Probably the lecturer is asking you out and you don't want the relationship and you looked for every means possible to stop the whole thing and it's not working for you. The best thing for you to do, read. My sister, read your book like your life depends on it. Prepare for that course. Now I'm going to tell you my story. So I, when I was in the university, in my year one, there was one of my lecturers that came to me. I was actually sitting under the sun because I was not feeling fine. I, I had a fever. So I was sitting under the sun to get myself warm up. So while sitting there, someone came, a, some, a man came, I, I just came in year one, so I didn't even know if he was a lecturer or a senior person going to school. You guys understand. And so he walks up to me and asks, can I send you? And I'm like, obviously they taught us how to respect elderly people. And I'm like, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not feeling too well, but if it's something I can do for you, can you please tell me? He said, no, 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 don't worry. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry. Just leave it, just leave it, just leave it. And I'm like, sir, please, if it's something I can do, I'll help you do it. So later that day, he left and he left and never came back. Yeah, something like that. I don't know if he was the one that sent or he sent his boy. Something like that. Maybe his boy or so. But I remember there was, that question was that, pop, that was popped up. Can I send you? I think he was the one. Was the one. So after then, later that day, I was looking for my friends. We were like three musketeers there back in the university. So I'm looking for my friend and I called them and they're like, they're in the man's office, they're in the lecturer's office. And I went, I have look, uh, fortunately or unfortunately for me, the man was the one who was on the said, That's a good afternoon, sir. You say, You, you that I sent and you refuse going. Let me not see you doing any high in this school. Let me not see you cheating in an exam hall or in a, or when you're writing your test or anything. Let me not see you doing any of sorts because if I catch you, you're going to be in soup. How on earth will I send you and you refuse to go? And I'm like, sorry, sir. Like I said, I, you asked me if you should send me or not. And I said, if it's some, I'm not feeling too well. But if it's something I can do for you, can you please tell me? But you got angry and left. He said, I'm not even listening to what you're saying. So my friends and I started begging. I was, I'm very sorry. So my friend said, Asa, she's sorry and everything. He said he's not listening to any of us. That is not his business. That was in my year one. So this man held this grudge in his mind. He never had an encounter with us year one, year two. We did not have anything in common. So there was no lecture with, between him and I and all of that or any of my... Mm -hmm. He was actually in the business department. I was in accounting. So he was actually lecturing those in the business side. But in accounting, he didn't have anything to do with us for year one and year two. So year three, he now taught us, I think it was taxation. I think it was taxation also. One of those courses, yeah. It was taxation also, something like that. So in year three, he now came to class. The first thing he did, he was like, you stand up, that's me. He said, you remember this girl in year one? I said, yeah, because when I came, when I was in year one, my head would dig ground, my head would hot. <laughs> I used to, uh, I used to dress hot, my hair style, I said, like, this is my hair, I barbed, like, I cut it like this. It was just hair in the middle, I plate my hair in the middle and all of that. So decide, sometimes I write my name, sometimes I tint and all of that. I was just, I was just looking, like, I just love to look extra. I was daring, kind of. Not like I was rough. Oh. I just like to look extra. So people, any, anywhere I go, people will notice me, notice me for nothing. <laughs> so by the time he met me and asked me that question, that I never bapped my hair. I, know, I had not cut my hair then. It was still normal. Mm -hmm. It was while I started going to school. I started doing the too much of the anger and all of that. I wear short clothes sometimes. I just dress to look fine. So he now said, people remember her at my year three, I'd already calmed down. I, I don't enter school now. Year one, I was still warming up. So when I discovered the 
environment and everything that was going on. I had to calm down and focus on my education. So year three, he said, ah, you now called me and start, that she stand up. And I said, do you remember this girl? And you remember her, right? In her year one, she was hot, hot, all about the place and all of that. Now, she was thinking, and I sent her, she refused going. She was thinking, we're not, we're not going to meet. So finally, we have met. Madame, as I'm in this class, if you do anyhow, you see what I'll do to you. I've not forgotten what you did to me. And I'm like, so I said I was sorry. He said, you're, you're saying that to yourself. Let me not see you do any high in my class or in an exam. I'm invigilating on my exams. You'll hear from me. So eventually, he then sent for me. I should come to his office. I went. He said he wanted to have an affair with me. And I told him a story. Maybe this will help you guys too. So the story was that I gave him, it was actually a fake story. <laughs> As I then I had to defend myself. So I told him a story about, I, I was like, so sorry, in my family we don't sleep with married men. <laughs> that if you sleep with a married man, man, the man will become poor. Poor. As in poor, poor poverty to zero, that you never have food to eat. <laughs> so you guys, that was the story I told him. And said, if I have anything to do with this, you're going to be very poor. Like you're going to be broke generation upon generation. So we don't try it with married men. I was like, what? Like him is not listening to all of those things. So like his own part, I had told one of the lecturers that too, and he, he worked for me. So I told, he said, not listening to that one. The first lecturer was in my year one. And I think my philosophy, something, something then. If I took God down, me and wife, no call watch this video, call understand. <laughs> So you guys, <laughs> so you know, I said, okay, like he's not listening to that though. Like him, he's a Calabar man. He has powers that can defend anything. Nothing can bring. I say, sir, sorry, it's not just about you. I'll also be affected and all of that. That day passed. He said, his boys now advised me that I should buy a bottle of drink. I think it was Quadrinus at the time. I should buy a bottle of hot drink and come and give him that what people used to appease him with i said okay and i went on to buy the bottle of drink i said then it was expensive at my year three you know the money i should have used for my upkeep and feeding and i'm going to buy a bottle of hot drink for the for a lecturer so i went with the bottle of drink presented it to him he said no 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 that what is this is this bribery and am i trying to bribe him that he wants me and not the drink and if i cannot give him him i should forget about it in the school and this is someone that has held so many people down. Just like that Dr. Yi that, that did that thing to that girl. So many people were still coming back to write his course. And the thing is, if you're to write this man's course, you attend the lectures. You can imagine someone that has graduated three years ago still attending lectures with us in our year three. You can just imagine. So he said, if you're going to do that, and I want you and not to drink. So I went home, got myself prepared because obviously it was time for his exams and all of that. I read that course like never before. I turned the book upside down. So in case anything happens, I'll apply for a remark. So after the, I wrote the exams, hmm, then he saw me say, I see. After the exam, I see you really prepared. I see you really, really prepared for the exams. I see you really, really prepared. You did well. I said, sir, ah. How can I not do well? If I cannot do that, I need to do well in my story. <laughs> I guess what, well, guys? I passed with a B. I got a B. Yes. If if you have to, if you failed me, I will request for a remark of my script, and they will put the panel will judge him. You understand? So in, in such a situation, my my people, my girls, my ladies, we are going through a lot. Women are so vulnerable in such cases in schools, or even in secondary school. They're vulnerable. I remember even when I was in secondary school then, there was a teacher that was asking me out. So you can imagine from secondary school in a boarding house. So if those people that are not well cultured, that were not well mannered, that do not have love at home, because it's, you see most of these things happen to people that don't have love at home. They didn't have love at home. They were not loved. They were not taught taught they were not well brought up they were just free 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 and they see such opportunity they grab and begin to have things to do with a man old enough to be their grandparents from secondary school you can imagine the torture it would be the trauma or probably that that vulnerable that scared that this man might fail me or he would do something to me like this like that and they begin to fall into their traps 
you can just imagine. So that was how I saved myself. So this story can help you someday. In case anything like it comes up for my young girls that are still in the university, please, let's be wise. These men don't mean well for us. They don't. Some of them have otumopo. Like that. <laughs> some of them have diseases and they want to share with you. And the thing that this like particular lecturers at the time, you have to book a hotel room for him to come and lay with you. You book a hotel room, you pay, you f you f you, f you foot his bills as in you feed him. You can just imagine what girls were going through. And a lot of girls, I know some of my colleagues that haven't gone for service have not graduated till today. All because they had some encounter with that man. Even those that had an affair with him. There are some that had an affair with him and had an affair with another lecturer. So he got angry and said, why are you sharing my thing? And then refused to pass them. Up until today, they're still looking for ways. <laughs> Me, one time, I finished my school as at the time I was as soon as I finished exam the next year we were the first set of people to go to go for service. Right on time, God was with me. That's because I apply wisdom and knowledge. In life you have to apply the two. My ladies, please don't fall victim of all these men that are using you. A lot of girls that were in such situation, you see them going through one issue or the other. They may be successful in some areas, but are still going through a lot. I'm not saying I have everything I want, but at least the joy that that did not happen to me because I would still be thinking about the trauma up until tomorrow. And to think that this man that was so disturbing me, they were like two. Both of them have passed. That's life for you. They were busy ramping. They say they had the same pattern of doing things. You have to book a hotel room for them and then they will come and live with you, buy food for them and all of that. That's what they were doing, these two guys. And they have all passed. So if you're a lecturer watching this video, please just stop it. Treat the girls right. It, can, it could be your daughter. What if you give birth to your daughter tomorrow and someone is somewhere in school harassing her up and down, wanting to have something to do with her? How would you feel as a parent? Let's be sincere to ourselves and let's be good to our girls. They're the mothers of tomorrow. And the thing about women is that the trauma remains in our head. We never forget it. We don't forget. Our brains are magnetic. We don't seem to forget things easily. I hope this video can help someone out there. Aside from this one, there's another story that someone told me. It could help you too. So since I'm doing, let me just make it long and tell you all of it before we go to the next <coughs> conversation. So I don't make another video. So this one, my friend, when we were seven, one of my friends, Chidima, I'm sure she's following me also. She will see this video eventually. She told me about one of, one of the ladies in her school then that a lecturer was after, I think, Unizik. Electra was after her life. I'm not exposing them, but it will help ladies. Electra was after her life, doing all sorts of things and all of that. She had finished her school. The man refused her graduating. And she didn't know what to do. She had to do something to get out of this school. But she didn't want to have an affair with the man. And so what she did was that she went to buy Dawa Dawa. I don't know if you guys know Dawa Dawa. After so much disturbance, she, had, she needed to graduate, of course. She went to buy plenty Dawa Dawa. Iru. Yoruba people, they call it Yoru. As in, there's a black one and there's the one that is close to black. Dawadawa and Yoru, the two of them. She mixed them together. You know how stinky it can, it could, it can be. As in, the smell, that the stench that comes out of it is enough to drive away a, <laughs> a wall of witches. <laughs> and so, she blends this stuff together, applies it around her private, you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, that's it. That's what I mean. She took her time. Norma, Norma, the private side of a woman has a stench. But now add this one again. She added it. She put it very well on the private part of the woman. She put it very well, applied it up to her laps. Then she wore a dress, comfortably came to the man's office. When she came, the man would have been in those... You know, that kind of thing. She says, sir, since I've tried everything you don't want, I've given money, so sir, I'm ready. I cannot continue to be here. I cannot continue to wait. I've stayed for too long. See, my mates have all graduated. Some of them have even working. They've all gone for service. I cannot continue to be here. It's not just this thing. Just this one time and I will go. Sir, please, let's just do it. Are you guys getting it? The man said, hey, now you're talking. The thing is, he's smelling. Now you're talking. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-huh. I'm wondering where this smell is coming from. Hey, 
Oh. And so he went on. He said, yeah, yeah, come and lie down on the table. Table low, people's office. So she laid down the man. Oh, ah, say, what is this? Oh my God, what is this? Oh my God. She was like, oh, sorry, sir. I have this infection. I've been looking for money to treat it. That's why I've been wasting time. But since you insisted, I said, okay, let me just come. She said, the man said, what? This is bad. This is irritating. You mean you've been going through? Oh my God, Jesus. Ah. He said, please, 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 please. Stand up, stand up. Wear your clothes. Oh my God. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah, take this. He even added that money on top. I'm going to pass it. He's just signed Oh my God. Just sign that. Please. Oh, just go. Just, oh, I'm so sorry about this. Can you just imagine? Okay, give me account number. He sent her money on top. So girls, we have to be wise. Apply all these measures and I bet you they'll work for you. Lecturer will not see this video. No, no. Very few of them will see this video. So please apply let it work for you for those people that were in my school and my department they know the people i'm talking about but that notwithstanding we move all right my ladies and my gentle brothers i know brothers are also going through this but guys you have to apply measures the, the first message my own pattern of light that i used can work for even the guys Mm -hmm. Then the second one works particularly for the ladies, but the other one can work for ladies and for the guys. So please apply these measures, and I bet you you come back to thank me later. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry the video is so long. I just had to explain this so I could help your sister or your brother out there. And do have a great day. I'm so sorry for the family of our favor. It's so unfortunate that she had to leave her mom in such pain. She should have thought of the pain her mom would go through. Sometimes you don't have to take things too serious. That's the word to use. If you take things too serious, you end up losing it. She took the academics too serious. She should have stayed alive for her mom. She should have still graduated in the, in, in the course of time. Some God would have brought an angel, not ending it all and causing her mom so much pain. Nothing should make you take your life. Nothing. Nobody's worth your life. No situation is worth your life. No academic pursuit is worth your life. Please, guys, let's be guided. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. And please subscribe, like, and share, and leave your comment below. This video is important. Please share it, share it to everybody. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>